What's up guys, this is Jeremiah James. I have an awesome guitar lesson here for you on Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. We're in standard tuning. We've got a capo here on our second fret. Why am I doing a tutorial on the song? Because it's an awesome song. I love it. Been listening to it for over 10 years now. I know there's plenty of other guitar lessons out there, but I wanted to give it my shot, and this is for my subscribers, and hopefully this helps you learn how to play the song. If it does, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If not, comment, give me a thumbs down, let me know what I can do better. I'm listening. Um, I've been kind of off of my tutorial game for a little bit here, and that's because I've been writing my own music. I'm not going to be doing as many tutorials as I normally do. I'm thinking about one or two a week, and aimed more towards classics like this song. So if you have recommendations and songs that you don't think there's really good existing tutorials out there for, go ahead and comment below. Give me some recommendations, and I'll see what I can do. So let's get started here. Uh, we're going to start out in the C position. We've got our capo on our second fret, like I said. I'm going to have the tab up here so you can use that to help pinpoint what I'm playing as well if I'm not describing it well enough. Um, so we're in our C position, but you're going to take your index finger off. So you just have your middle finger and your ring finger on. And with our right hand here, we are going to be picking the same three strings pretty much the whole song. We're going to pick our A string with our thumb. We're going to pick our G string with our index finger. And we're going to pick our... B string with our middle finger. So those three strings are going to be plucked simultaneously and we're going to hammer on with our index finger to our first fret of our B string. And then we're going to pluck our G string and move to this G shape. That G shape you have your middle finger on your third fret of your low E string and your ring fingers on your third fret of your B string. And we're plucking almost the same three strings. Your index and your middle finger are going to stay on the B and the G, but now your thumb is going to move from the A string to the low E string. Okay, so back to our C position. Pluck our three strings with our thumb on the A. Hammer on. Pick your G. Move to this G shape. Okay, one more time. From there, we're going to slide all the way up to our seventh fret with our index finger. And we're going to put our ring finger or your middle finger. I would say using your ring finger is much easier. So you're going to have your ring finger on the eighth fret of that B. And we're going to pick the same three strings. So the G and the B with the index and the middle finger again. And your A string with your thumb. As soon as you pick those three on that shape, you're going to slide down to your fifth fret with your index, and your ring finger will be on the seventh fret of the B string. And there you can pick your B and your G afterwards. Okay, so seventh fret, slide, pick your B and your G. Okay, and now throwing that together with the first part sounds like this. And that's 90% of the song. So what changes is we add these little licks in for the third part of every progression. So you'll play this progression twice. So we're playing a little extra lick here. And then it's right back to the beginning. So what's happening on that lick is all we're doing is on the 7th and 8th fret position, we're going to stretch our pinky way out there to your 10th fret of your B string. So 8, 10, then you're going to slide down to that 5-7 shape, and we're going to go 7, 
eight, seven, and then we're right back into the intro. Okay, so one more time on that. I like one more time. Okay, and so that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and play through that twice. We'll play through, and just like I said, the first two are regular, then you do the lick on the third, and the fourth is regular, and that completes one set. So, we'll do two sets here. Here's the third. Set one was over, now two. Here comes the third. And that's all there is to it. So, it's not too difficult. Um, don't ask me why I was calling it a set, I know there's a proper music term out there for what exactly that was, but I'm calling it a set. Are we playing volleyball out here? Or are we learning music? I don't know. Alright, so that's going to be it for this lesson. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If not, comment below. Let me know what I can do better. Um, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these tutorials. And stay tuned for some original music from me. I've been spending a lot of time recording and I'm really enjoying it and having a blast. And I think you guys will enjoy the music that I release. Thank you for watching.